And we're recording. Podcast. This is the podcast. <laughs> Are you ready for the podcast? <laughs> podcast. Are you ready? Where's the music? Because this is a podcast of Nova Team. Are you practicing that? No. <laughs> Swinging it. Right. Like Nova Team something. Podcast uh, number two. I'm Scott Davis. I'm Patrick Ramirez. I'm Sean Petty. And I'm Ashton Oden. And we're winging it this week. Because <laughs> we're not really that much prepared. <laughs> no, I didn't have a list of topics, and our laptop guy decided that he was too busy working with old people. And yeah, I didn't really do it because uh, I thought we were going to do it tomorrow. Yeah, uh, that was the original plan, and then next thing you know, I get stuck on this side of town. So. Yeah, I always thought like, it was a Saturday thing. Well, yeah. no, not quite, you know, but with I got a hold of him and told him we were doing a Sunday, and then that didn't work out, so. Yeah, he, he caught me while I was with my uh, hand in my pants, and I uh, was just uh, getting ready to start up a video game match. Call him on the phone with him and his hands in his pants. That's, that's sweet. Uh, yeah. A little visual there. It, it's nice to know that you're being thought of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just sitting there on, I paused Modern Warfare 3 for like a fucking second to call him up. And then, yeah. Yeah, I was in the, when he called me, I was in the middle of the, uh, playing Dead Space on the pop mode and, uh, had the, uh, Rooster Teeth podcast on. Yeah. And, uh, pretty much, uh, what happens if my Rooster Teeth podcast is on and I call somebody, you'll still hear them in the background while I'm still talking here. So I, I had to quickly press ignore you. Go to the podcast, turn it off, and yeah, call it back. Yeah, I, I saw that. You know, we're what, good, is it, what does good. it say to you when I, when I ignore it? Does it really tell you I ignore you? Uh, well, no. All well, it said was I was hung up on. I kind of figured because it rang, rang, hung up. So. Oh, so does it like say And then you your, new, your fucking new uh, voicemail. I could not understand what you said. I thought it was new. I thought it was better. I could not understand it one bit. Damn it. I got to redo it then. Do it in a nice, calm voice. I can't help it. No, no, no. What you need is one of those jingles. That are explaining why you're not at the phone. Like I just did in the, in the beginning? Yeah, kind of. Oh, by the way, I how was I fucking call you? Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> by the way, I want to ask, how was that? Awkward. Awkward. I wasn't expecting it. I don't know. Was it good? Yeah. Uh-huh. Was it good tone? Oh, well, yeah. It was Content. very uh, positive. Yeah, 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 yeah. God damn it. Dude, I've actually, I've, <laughs> I've, I've puzzled that together from the uh, receipt. Yeah. It's actually the, uh. Drunk Tank. It was uh, from the ending of like some other no, podcast. It was actually from. Oh, no, 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 no. That, that was the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. It was from Jeff. Yeah. But the beginning, like Drunk Tank, was actually the end of like of a, another previous uh, yeah. like Drunk Tank. Like, the guy just took two sound bites and threw them together. But yeah, yeah the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. It was from yeah. Jeff. As I was listening to like like back podcasts, I I listened and like it ring and then just clicked in my head. I was like, oh, there it is. Yeah. And I kind of want to find the uh, the Awu like tape one of it. They linked it, didn't they? And they linked them? Probably. I just never really checked. You should go back and check. Yeah, I don't usually check it when it's on my phone. I'm just kind of like waiting until my internet's back, and I'll be uh, listening to all of them again. Yeah. Yeah, my uh, internet... Do you not listen like, on your phone? Yeah, I do. It's just that my internet connection is kind of slow again. Yeah. You know how it like, gives me that warning? You're like, I have 4.5 gigabytes used up like a device. Oh, yeah, and your phone slows the fuck down. Yeah, oh, like yeah. a week. Bandwidth. So That's hopefully... Tomorrow it's back and running, but it's almost to that point where it's gonna be fully out. But we're gonna be, uh, I guess I'm gonna get my mom's old phone or something, or like a type of phone she Is has. Is it better than yours? Anything's better than my phone. Yeah, it yeah. kind of is crapping out. Yeah, so either way it'll be better. I just, I just have to hold out, and that shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's not like you really talk to anyone on your phone. Or answer a fucking phone. No. Yeah. There's actually a, a reason why that's happening. It was a, uh, I had it on f- vibrate for quite a while, and I was actually answering people's calls. But uh, as soon as like the uh, schools, the high, sc- the colleges, like the colleges actually start calling me, I got very annoyed about uh, in the middle of class where my uh, phone would start like vibrating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, awesome. I'm saying without the fucking silence. Oh. Dude, I want that to be loud as hell in the classroom. <laughs> I want that one kid. You said they're recording that one kid at Black Alpha 19. 
Yeah, I still have it. Oh, I could do my little John. 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 No, you should send me that uh the soundbite. Oh, I got it. So I can have his Myron tone. Oh, I thought he did that. Oh yeah, it was yeah because that's the one that initially pissed that kid off. I pissed off the whole country of Australia. Which is Australia. A lot. Congratulate you for it. I want to hear this. Talk about it. I'm the only guy that can piss off the whole fucking country. Oh well, every time I met a kid from it was an Aussie kid, you know, Australian. I don't know why the Aussie fuck they kid. call themselves Aussies. Oh, are you having a hard time? No. Are you sure? Because it's like blowing right at you. That's what she says. Anyway, so, uh... In my dreams. Aussie. <laughs> 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 uh, these little I fuckers like online on Xbox, they'd be all, like, talking stupid fucking voices, and I'd start getting mad at them. Eventually, like, every Australian kid I met, I just... Instant, you know, betrayal, or he'd get mad at me, or... He'd say something. He'd be like, he'd say my name wrong. How the fuck do you say Zen wrong? You know? You said Zen wrong? Yeah, they'd be like, Dean? How the fuck? It's Zen, you fuckers. that sad with mine? Oh, they they, kept, like, <laughs> they, they, mis, they mispronounce it just because I changed an I to a Y, and they could sound the same fucking way. King Styles? No. Well, with most languages out in the world, I is actually a pretty common one to change yeah. compared to American style. But no, but it's just, the guy kept calling him King Styles, and I was like, I wanted to jump on the fucking... Style? Okay, okay, never mind that. Yeah, yeah, there's no L with them. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong? Nobody even tries to say my name, so I'm happy. You're never online for people to say. Here's one earlier. You're too... I don't know. Yours is, like, a very common one that I've seen. Happens. Really? Yeah. Wraith? Yeah. Yeah, Wraith is very common. And I've seen Katune a lot. I don't even know what the hell that is. Oh, well, because then you get Fox those, Fox. like, stupid people that can't pronounce uh, <laughs> that anything Japanese the right way. That reminds me of the, uh, what the can't Americans... can't spell it right. That reminds me of what the Americans were doing, too, like, during uh, the World War II with the Japanese. So they were going to put, like, a glow in the like, dark boxes. Yeah. On one of yeah. the islands outside yeah. Japan. Yeah, it was a paint. They were trying to make glow in the dark paint. And that's how, like, uh, glow sticks and all that shit came around, really. That shit was very and, uh, dangerous back then. They were putting it on foxes and letting them loose on the island. <laughs> and so these Japanese soldiers would see glowing foxes and think it's a fox river, which is very, woo, and they were freaking the fuck out. Well, it didn't work because the chemicals on it were killing the foxes. <laughs> I can imagine, like, a... I find the dead glowing foxes. <laughs> Okay, we're going to have to edit that out. I'll, I'll fix that. Yeah, we'll fix it. So I bumped and the table. Oh, uh, we need. Huh? Oh, what? What do we need? I bumped the table. When would you do that? Just now. I fucking sent it. I was just trying to help you out. I try to be professional here. Is it still going? Yeah, it's still going. All right, so Wait. what was I going to be saying before? Thanks a lot. Uh, we were, we were, we were talking, okay, yeah. We were okay, talking about dead going fire right, right, right. and nowhere and how the Japanese handled it. All right, the it. Japanese would think that would be strange, but us American tourists, when we go over there, we'd be like, holy shit. That no. fuck that close. Holy shit. No, but yeah, like that's what they did. And um tell why one of the reasons we have glow sticks nowadays. Now with other like that American Fox just gave us glow sticks. Now with another American experiment, I really want to talk about the dolphins. Uh already? <laughs> Taking acid with the dolphin? Dude, that sounds Jerking cool. It. <laughs> Does that sound cool to you? The chilling in a half sunken house with dolphins or tripping acid. And it's trying that to rape you. Cool. Not the rape part. Rape is kinda of weird. <laughs> I actually want to read this uh, article. Man. I read it. I read it. Fucking weird. Dude. All right, do you want to explain it, or should we just tell the people just well, to was, look it up? Well, it was, it's, it's kind of hit and miss because the article doesn't really make too many sense. But what is is when they would they were trying to get dolphins to speak, which makes no fucking sense. They're trying to get them to speak, so like, yeah, we're gonna give it, and eventually it didn't work. So when, what they want to do is because that's in the '60s they were fucking around with hallucinogens, trying to free the mind more. And what they did was is they gave the dolphin and the woman acid and then just let them have you know fun time just hang out well eventually they would have to give the dolphin conjugal visits because the dolphin tried <laughs> fucking the woman <laughs> but then they're like fuck that messes up because you know the dolphins meet another dolphins we can't have that so then they started letting the woman give the dolphin hand jobs long story short the woman's tripping acid jerking off the dolphin that's just strange worst right? job ever yeah, it is the worst job ever God. What do you do for a living? I have, yeah? You think you're a badass? Well, I get paid to jerk dolphins off. Bitch. <laughs> yeah, you're a real badass. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That, I, I couldn't do that. I couldn't be proud no, of that. I couldn't be either. Yeah, when I was listening to that, I couldn't that understand what... That would to have on your resume. I couldn't understand what Gus was talking about at first, but after a while, I just pieced it together after listening to the segment. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Oh, you remember the uh, couple podcasts? There was like 149 on Rush Street. They had the, uh, the woman that's like that computer talking. 
and they're uh, fucking the, Aunt Joel uh, and Bernie Dean talking about it. Oh yeah. Uh, on uh, my fucking Yahoo thing, it, the messenger popped up, and it was one of those like fucking bots, but it wouldn't answer back. Really? It wouldn't answer back. Gosh. Yeah. Imagine what we would say. I was gonna have fun, and then it just wouldn't answer back. So I was like, fuck it. Yeah. And then uh, my security boss, uh, John Fisher. He, uh, his email that he uses for Facebook, someone tried hacking it while he was at work. And he got mad, posted this giant rant on Facebook as a status. It was like, yeah, thanks for that. Now I have a 64 fucking character, like, key and all that bullshit. And then he's like, yeah, and I have your IP address, and I'm going to fucking go to Comcast and the FBI, FBI and report as an uh, Internet crime. He was like, have a nice fucking time, bitch. So, someone's getting fucked over. Well, it sounds yeah. like he knows what he's doing. Oh, yeah. He, he's on his feet mostly his job. But he owns his own security business. So what does he do? Like he owns his own security, security business that goes someone out. Someone tried hacking someone who works for security. Yeah. That's stupid. Oh, yeah. That's full mail. Okay. Uh, when did you get, like, uh, report this? Or did he already? Uh, this was earlier this afternoon. He, was, he said, when I get off work, you totally fucked. So. Yeah, find out more about this so we can talk about it. Yeah, later. I will, definitely. I'll, I'll, I'll actually just text him at some point and ask him about it. Man. Okay, so yeah, pretty much what I did this week was actually pretty cool with the uh, Phoenix trip I had yesterday. Mm-hmm. It was for the advanced students in our class. There was like uh, probably eight or seven people that went to yeah. it. Kind of crowded and everything. Uh, so we went to this museum and it gave me a whole new respect about uh, Native Americans. Really? Wow. Yeah. That's surprising. That's Native, gonna be Native American history is sad. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> It was stupid because, like, I mean, these, like, like, Native kids are saying, like, oh, it's great that we're, like, in a sarcastic kind of way they were talking, like, yeah, yeah we're in a white society. But I was reading the posters and, like, the sayings of it, I was like, that's fucked up. Mm-hmm. One of the, like, the last ones I read was, uh, your son will die, but he will die with clothing, with food in his belly, and the white way. And as soon as I read that, I was like, You know what the sad well, part fuck. about that is? We already had food and clothing beforehand. Yeah. I gave us this they called it the they called it the uh, native like well, uh, either native or Indian I don't remember. Uh, that was probably Indian. Yeah, it was probably Indian. Probably Indian. Uh, they called it the Indian problem. Yeah. I didn't understand that. I was like, damn, this is this sucks. Yeah. Did you see what your people did? <laughs> I saw what my people did. I have no you know how proud I am. Fuck <laughs> 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 you. You're a different case, Sean. No, he's not. <laughs> so yeah, like oh, by the way, your guys' no, art, no, like paintings and everything. Fucking amazing. Yeah. I yeah, love it. It's fucking sweet, isn't it? Dude, this is like a beautiful mural. I love the style of it. It was very dark history and everything in it. It was just great. You guys are good with your textures. Did you see some of the fucking uh, shit about uh, my tribe, uh, the genocide of my people? Some of the people took a real dark turn of it. What was your tribe again? Uh, Pascal Yaki and Cherokee. Okay, yeah, I wasn't looking at that then. Yeah, they have, like, during the genocide of my people, like, when the fucking assholes went down there, were like, we're going to totally fuck you up. And this is, like, only, like, 40 years ago. Yeah. And, uh... So, you know, during all that, a lot of people that came to the U.S., a lot of Yaquis, um, they made these, like, dark, like, one of my uh, ancestors, one of my uncle's, like, fucking friends has one, and it's just this dark-ass painting of a fucking, uh, a, a man just, like, bent over, kind of like this, and he has a fucking noose around him, and fucking all the Spaniards on the other side. Dude. Damn. So, yeah, like, uh, other, other than that one, the one we went to before, made me realize, modern, like, uh, art... Sucks compared to like old style yeah. art. Yeah. Back when uh, the feeling was there. Yeah, European art. Oh gosh, I had orgasms looking at that wow, stuff. Wow, that's, that's awkward. No, it's uh, it's uh. Oh, for it's me. so awesome! It's orgasmic. That's it is really it, it is really, really that awesome for me because uh, just I was so tired because I'm just processing what I'm looking at, walking everywhere around in the like the European like uh like uh section like uh um, like old modern art. Mostly it was uh, kind of religious stuff, but it had really dark like uh like, stories to it. Yeah. And it inspired me a lot. I, looking at everything, looking at the highlights, the values, of the color, texture, everything was very organic, very realistic, and none of that, like, uh, very pop-out, uh, over-colored kind of stuff that you would see yeah. today. And after that, we went to, uh, finally got away from the teacher, and we were just all just, like, crowding around downtown with, like, a, like, uh, the public art. Yeah. Makes me realize how much I hate Tucson. Why am I not living in Phoenix? See, I like I like Tempe outside of Phoenix because that's where I go for a lot of raves and concerts and shit. But it's like I like it out there. I love downtown Phoenix when I'm not in a vehicle. 
Yeah, I want to say that I want to give a little, like a little shout out to a band. I'm gonna give them right now. Uh, we were listening to this like a like a just a pop of band over there and everything. They're like they kind of have that little like uh, what is it? Indian Sublime kind of like taste to them. No, oh, okay. Uh, they're like uh, R A C race or something. Like that, I guess. Yeah. Rack. They're yeah maybe it might be rack. I'm not. <laughs> I don't know. They didn't say what their name was. I couldn't pronounce it. Bought two of their CDs. They're pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty chillax kind of music, and I really loved it. Mm. Kind of like reggae. Yeah. Like so I want to give a little. American reggae. Probably. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Like so I want to. I don't know. I want to give a little shout out to you guys. Here it's called Race Rack or R A C. <laughs> I like rack. But you. But you okay. Yeah. But you do like uh, octopuses. Cool. You do like octopuses, so. Hey, like, octopuses are sweet. Octopuses. So yeah, yeah. There's like two of them. Uh, I think this might be like their little first album right here, but they uh they're really good. That's cool. Yeah. And uh, let's see, and also I got like a little like a uh, printmaking in that folder right there. Yeah. So. Some of the stuff that you see there is just. Oh, man, yeah, amazing. Phoenix is pretty sweet. Yeah, it is pretty sweet. What are you reading? Oh yeah, you guys been like looking at the news lately and all that stuff? Oh, kind of. No, no, not really. Well, of course I you do. don't. Uh, every now and again, but if she's well, like uh, you guys been hearing about like the uh, like that little town that like uh, it has like a, like a little toxic spill in it for some reason. Oh, like, yeah, the girl yeah. with the Tourette's. Yeah. What do you guys think about that? I think it's fucking weird. You don't think it's bullshit? <laughs> well, yeah, a little bit, you know, but I think it's they don't have Tourette's. They just have no problem speaking their mind. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, I really like... I mean, there's a lot of women that's, that, that they just call people okay, everything. Okay, So these are like women that are constantly on the All right, you like speaking your mind. Tell us about yourself. You're I a like bitch. <laughs> well, um... Well, well okay, yeah. on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit speechless right now. I like speaking <laughs> my name. <laughs> no, um, I don't know. I don't know what you really think about that one. It's kind of... Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, I don't know. That one, I was reading a little bit into that one. I think it might be just people, you know, playing it off. They were paid by Mel Gibson. <laughs> I want to get paid by Mel Gibson. I'm fucking rich. Dude. Making two fucking Pass on Christ movies. <laughs> Shit. He was cool back then, but all I'm telling you now, he just I love like... when he got mad at that cop and called her a Jew and called her sugar tits. <laughs> I mean, no, no, it was the guy that he called a Jew. He like, you're the reason why God hates us. And then when he was actually being arrested, he was being incarcerated in the back of the car. The officer was a female driving her. He kept calling her sugar tits. So. Wow, Mel Gibson. Like you the Man, you're why God it. doesn't talk to us anymore. <laughs> Mel Gibson, fat ass with a mullet, back then with a lethal weapon. Lethal weapon was good. I used to watch it. Yeah. God, those were good movies. Kind of like Die Hard in a way. But uh, I'm too old for this shit. Not bad, though. Not bad. Okay. It is not that bad. Oh, man. God, this room is tasty. It is. Oh, man. Jeez. <laughs> it's a little weird doing a podcast without vodka or, you know, Jaeger. Uh, How's it weird? Jaeger. It's only been one time. No, I've done other podcasts. We didn't have vodka last time. Did we did? We did? Did we? Did we? we had Jaeger last time. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> we had Jaeger? No, yeah. Jim Beam and I was drinking uh, Jack and Coke. Yeah, we had yeah, pretty much so all dark I, last time. I brought okay. Jack last time. All right, so we all dark? We yeah. Have, we need have beer. Dick! <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna like bring it back all together with that. Yeah, go back to Tourette. Oh, oh yeah, I wanna ask uh, who all is going with me, Skyler, and uh, David if we do go to uh, RTX. It's in Austin, Texas. It's like how much? Know, six hours. Uh, that's one thing they that's haven't posted the prices yet this year. Um, but we are, we're gonna ask you guys if you do want to go, you gotta start saving now. Yeah, essentially. Um, the thing is though, uh, I still gotta pitch in about two hundred bucks to David for uh, the Kanichiwa room. Well, because he bought two rooms. Yeah. And um, it's 400 It came out to like 400 and some dollars. I told him I'd cover one room if I grab the job, and I'm going to grab this job anyway. So I'm going to cover one room. I still need to get that job. Yeah. Oh, secure, wait, what job? Security. Oh, where is uh, work? The fountain? Oh, the, oh, that thing. That's what I'm talking about. I don't get paid for fucking KHR. Well, I thought you said, well, I know the pay thing, but I mean like. Which for, is bullshit. Oh, you're not about the pay. I'm talking about just going to Kanishiwa for security. Yeah, I need, right to, I need to send you uh, John's email. Um, I'll, I'll deal with that event. All right. Because I have to get his email again. I I don't know what the fuck's going on with that, but yeah. It's something. I don't know, I just want to do something. It's a lot of fun. Um, I just hope you aren't going to do what Sean usually does. and works 12 hours and then he's done. 
Like, if you're going to do that, why don't you just do volunteering? I actually worked more than you at the last convention. Which convention? TwoCon? TwoCon doesn't count. Because Technically, it, it does. It no, doesn't work. No, 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 no. If it's not a con that if I work with John Fisher, Hemi House, or any of them, then I'm not going to go and do a 42-hour... Well, in all honesty, I didn't do security at the last Konnichiwa either. I've done Konnichiwa, I've done Sawa, I've done PCC, I've done, you know, other fucking random shit. If John's going running security at Konnichiwa, I'll um, be the first it, time I'm working with him. John, right now, John, I think they hired two new people for PCC, which kind of made me mad, you know, for the fact that they don't, they've never worked with us, and me and Flick have been working with them for over a year now. So it's kind of like, you know, what the fuck? It's probably because they're a little bit more professional, like, uh... I, I, we don't know these. I don't know. None of us know these people except for I think John met them. And it kind of made me mad because me and Flick, at one point in time, me and Flick were in the void of volunteering, you get a free bag, you get like free shit. That sounds awesome. Staffing, you get free bag, free shit. Me and Flick were at the point where we showed up and they didn't even have a rank for us. Like, we weren't volunteering, we weren't staffing, we were just two guys working 42 hours out of a 60 hour weekend. No money. No money, no food. I spent my money to even get there on the fucking forty dollar shuttle. No, I had forty bucks. I spent thirty nine on the fucking shuttle. Damn, does it takes that? It's, how much does it cost for a shuttle? For a fucking shuttle from up by Marana to Phoenix, it's like thirty nine bucks. God, that reminds me. I have to. I'm gonna probably fucking be going. Expensive. Yeah, I'm gonna be probably going to a trip uh, with Elisa to uh, Phoenix to or see her uh, other brother. Yeah. No, uh, like uh, before. Be the careful what shuttle you get into. I had a bad experience when I went. So we're in a, it's a little bit smaller than like a short bus, you know? Yeah. And uh, it's like a van pretty much, just built a little bit bigger. And uh, we're doing about 75, 80 miles per hour down this like interstate. What the hell? And Flick is sleeping, but he's on the wheel well, so his legs are a little bit higher. And I'm starting to fall asleep, starting to fall asleep. And next thing you know, we're doing about 85, and we hit a left turn. And next thing you know, Flick's elbowing me in the face. And then I'm like, holy <laughs> fuck, what is going on? And we, hit, we hit a fucking speed bump. A fucking speed bump going into the Star Pass or whatever, uh, Phoenix uh, Airport. Fucking 80 or so miles per hour into a fucking speed bump. Next thing you know, I'm like up in the air, down, hit back, flip, foul into me. So it was, just, it was a bad time. And I was like, did what you, the fuck? No, what did you say to the driver? I was like, nice driving, man. And then he, no, and then he topped it off. He dropped us off at the wrong fucking terminal. Because we were like, we need to go to Terminal 4. He's like, oh, I totally know where that is. You don't need to go there. Jumped off at Terminal 2. Spent about 40 minutes trying to find out where the fuck we were. And you don't need to go to it? That is a we're like, I don't know where we're going. We ended up sitting at a bus stop waiting for a bus that would never show up. We called the place like, yeah, that's not showing up today. Bus, that's when the Phoenix drivers were on fucking strike. So we're that sitting there like, stupid. what's up? Did they even fuck? win that? I don't fucking know. I don't no. even care. And so all, oh, all this God. bullshit, we go inside, we're asking people and all that, and then, like, one lady at the desk was like, yeah, you're at the wrong terminal. And we're like, we kind of figured so, but the guy said we needed to be here instead. Run across the whole airport after taking... He's trying to get rid of you. Like, we were taking an epic piss because I'd pee really bad. Nice, nice airport bathrooms. Um, <laughs> after that, ran across the airport, you know, like fucking retards. Ran into a security guy that was like, whoa, this way. And, like, pointed us in, like, this epic direction. There was, like, out these fucking doors. Went out the door, sat there for, like, four minutes. The fucking bus is there for a six hour for just a straight shot, no transfer. It's a dollar twenty five for a fucking uh, day pass, which counted as only six hours, was three seventy five for a day pass it was five seventy five. And we ended up out of nowhere. We didn't know where the fuck we were. Went into a fucking uh, bank, got some coffee, asked for directions, went down this road for a few miles, and then found the fucking hotel. Oh, that's good. And then we were late, and so Hemi House was an asshole. Chris Hemming out is a fucking asshole. If you work for him, I feel bad. Um, he was like, you guys are late. We're at late by like an hour. So we're like, well, we just came in the, from fucking Tucson. You guys live in Phoenix. And I was like, so fuck off. He was being a dick. And he was like, yeah. He was like, I don't see why you guys are late all the fuck time. I was like, we've never been late for a shift ever. And I was like, the first day of the con. The con wasn't even fucking open yet. And it was just like, fuck off. We sit there for a second. And he's like, all right, grab your shit. We got our shit. Went out for our fucking rounds. And then afterwards, he was like, yeah. If you guys, if you guys, if it wasn't for the fact you guys came from Tucson, I think I would have had to tell you guys to go home. And I was like, I swear to God, if I spent every bit of my fucking cash to get here just for you telling me to go home, I swear to God, I'm going to kick you in the balls and walk away. I was mad at him. And then John just patted me on the back and told me to go do my job. So. Bitch. I like John. John's cool. John Fisher's really cool. Another person, like people. another person you'll meet? No, he's not. <laughs> he's the one that told me to call a lady a cunt. Uh, <laughs> um, well, how did that work? How'd that, okay, well, uh, we're at PCC, Phoenix Comic Con, and um, I'm doing eight straight hours of line control, moving 23,000 people twice. 
because they went through and went back and went through. So 22,000 people, turn it up by two because that's just how many times I would fucking move them. And uh, so eight straight hours of dealing with thousands of people. Where is this line going? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't care. And so uh, <laughs> this, this one lady, these guys were cutting line. And I, I'm, I'm running down this 100-foot stretch, making sure no one's cutting line so they don't get mad going in fights. And this, these guys, this one guy's like, he's like, yeah, he's like, all right, let's, let's cut. And I'm like, stay right behind him. I'm like, dude, don't do it. And this little white kid's like, um, um, I wasn't going to. I, he said he was going to. I was like, just, just stand in line before I pull you to the back. I was like, just, just stay here. If you don't, I'm just going to pull you to the back of the line. So I'm walking, and I guess, I guess this, this one old fuck, they was like, I don't know where I'm at, and just kind of walked straight through 20,000 people, like, straight across, like, I don't know where I'm going, I'm just going to walk through here. And this lady's like, he just cut, we're going to do something. He's like, I can't do anything about it if he's 40 feet over there, and there's, like, thousands of people in my way. And she's like, you're not doing your job, blah, blah, blah. And I turned around, and I was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and started walking over. She's like, I'm telling your supervisor, and I flipped her off and just kept walking. <laughs> Next, you know, uh, actual uh, cause we're at the Phoenix Convention Center. Their actual security is not part of our security at all. This one black guy comes up and he's like, Hey, uh, I had a woman come up and say you told her to shut the f up. And I was like, No. I was like, I was like, Have you heard me cut at all today? And he's like, No, you've been pretty professional. I was like, See, I was like, Who's who are you gonna take? The guy that's been, you know, doing this the whole day you've been standing next to, or the woman that seems aggravated because she's stuck in line. So, I won over Then I told John about it. And John's like, Cause he heard about it from the security. And uh, he, I was like, yeah. And he was like, no, I just told her I'd call her a cunt. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, John, I would have loved to call her a cunt. But so wait, 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 hold on. All right, this was him in this situation. He's like, he uh, he's like, no, no, no. like, all right, um, dude, I heard he called her a uh, a to shut the f up. No, I told her that she was a fucking cunt. New <laughs> yeah. correction. No, he was like, no, I called that bitch a cunt. Objection. Yeah. Well, I didn't say a f- I didn't tell her to fuck. I told her to be a cunt. Well, okay, I'm eight straight hours of moving. It's the same people over and over again. They want to go in the dealer's room. Oh, I don't want to buy anything. Turn around and leave. Oh, I want to buy something now. And go through the line and then complain because the line's too big. So we had to zigzag the line over and over again. Huge mass of people. And then there's this one guy we're working with, I can't remember his name. He he gets real into it. He starts yelling at people, being an asshole. He's like six foot four, so he kinda you know, he's all not buff but fat. And uh, he was running and uh, he's yelling, people, if you don't shut up and put your back to the line and this one guy was like, Fuck you and he went to turn real fast. <laughs> <laughs> he went to turn real fast, flipped, busted his ass, rolled a few times. No one helped him. <laughs> No one helped him at all. He gets up like nothing's wrong, looking around. <laughs> and the guy that says, fuck you, I ran into the guy, and I was like, hey, I heard you earlier. He's like, I, I don't know. I was like, dude, don't worry about it. It was pretty funny, man. <laughs> and the guy was like, cool. I was like, I was like, just don't tell security to fuck off or anything like that because they're going to get mad. And he's like, yeah. And he's like, I've been in line for like four hours. I don't even care anymore. And the one guy, one little punk-ass bitch, he was just with this Batman. Uh, did he drag his cape around? No, no, he, 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 had a, he had a, you know, nice suit. It was a cool looking Batman suit. Like, from was he fat? Game. No, he's a little skinny white kid. And uh, he comes up and starts yanking on the cord to my headset from my radio. And he's like, what? Sir, sir, sir. And I was like, Yeah, can I help you with something? And he's like, I can't find my dad. And I was like, Okay, that's Oh a, my that's god. A cool item. And I was like, Okay, stay with me. I'm about to call in on the radio. I was like, You know, Patrick Security, this is, you know, we have a code atom in the security line. And uh, he's like, oh, wait, he's right here. And his dad was standing next to him. I swear to God, Bruce Wayne almost died. <laughs> I was in the line because he decided to yank on my headset. That's a, like, well, how old was he? He was like fucking 12. Okay, that I understand. <laughs> like, you made it sound like it was a... Uh, no, he was like a little 12-year-old skinny fuck. You made it sound like it was a, like a, almost an adult-like kind of person. Well, no, 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 no. 12-year-old still a kid, you know. I hear your kid, though. You know, some little 12 year old kid came up yanking on my earpiece saying that he couldn't find his parents to tell him that they were gunned down in an alley. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you didn't have parents. If I was a shit like that, I'd get in the <laughs> And uh, that's what Henry House is there. Also, you'll meet a guy named Chris Schultz. Awesome guy. He's uh, coming up on his 10 years, I do believe. Alcohol free. Really oh, nice guy. Nice. Oh, cigars. Really cool guy. That's good. Um, that's good. He's a really nice guy. Um, he's actually, I don't think he's in security anymore. He was one of the head securities, but I think he's in, uh, um, 
entertainment now. I think he's in the head entertainment area for like the fucking raves and all that. Which I don't think Salvador Khan will ever have a sack. Or no, I don't think uh, that hotel, the Squaw Peak Hotel. I do not think they'll ever have a sack. For raves? Ever for Casaba? Um, they decided to put a rave on a third floor. Why would you do that? You know what the big problem with that is? Beneath us was the dealer's hall. They have giant chandeliers. And Jackson was working. He's like, hey, uh, I, I'm done in the dealer's hall. And the chandeliers are fucking shaking. And so we go up there to check on it. That whole balcony, the whole room was fucking swaying. That whole part of the building was swaying because you had like three, 4,000 people jumping all at the same time. And so you have this whole hotel block shaking, just fucking swaying back and forth. So we go up there. We had to talk to the DJ like, hey, we cannot have you guys tell them to not jump. They could dance. What the fuck ever. Just don't be jumping. So the DJ's like, yeah, and it was work. this girl, this total ditz. Like, I don't know where I'm going. The whole time we had to tell her where the fucking spot for her to go work at. She getting paid to be there. And she's like, yeah, um, security says we can't jump. And I thought she was going to take the turn, like, oh, do it anyways thing. And I was going to be like, I swear to God, I'm going to pull you off that fucking DJ booth and throw you out. Why can't people be reasonable? And so this one guy, so the thing is, I felt really bad. I love raving. It's very fun. And I had to go through there and find people that were jumping and be like, yo, man, you can't do it. So one guy some black guy who's being a dick. And he's being he's all like jumping up and down, like calm, like actually doing it on purpose, you know, jumping up and down. And uh, cause me, John, everyone, we if we didn't do that, the whole rave was being shut down completely. So we were like, hey, I'm like, hey man, um, they're gonna shut it down if you guys don't stop jumping. I was like, you guys gotta chill, you know, dance, have fun, but whatever. They wouldn't stop, wouldn't stop till finally uh, the hotel manager walks in there and says, I will shut this fucker down if you don't stop. They stopped. Well actually we closed the rave down, but Oh, yeah. they stopped. They had to, forcibly. We Weird. actually had to forcibly pull people out of that fucking that hotel, that pole, the ballroom. Don't that. We had to forcibly pull people out because they wouldn't listen to us. One guy tried fighting one of our uh, security members. Why would you do that? Because, okay, our security member came and said, we've got to ask you guys to stop jumping. We've asked you guys twice before. This is it. Come outside. The guy wouldn't listen. guy wouldn't listen. I guess he said that he got physical with him. The guy pushed him tried swinging at him. When you have four security members standing in one spot and you swing at one of them, it's going to end bad. Yeah. Pulled him out, ejected from the con. Completely. We pulled his path at that point. If we saw him yeah. again, he was gone. He was just done. Just gone. I didn't say gunned. No. That'd be better. No, we're not allowed to. Most security members do carry guns. Uh, not on uh, on the premises because we don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to <laughs> put you know, 20,000 people and you have a fucking you know, a 38 on your hip. Someone's going to grab them. Like, look what I got. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck. Yeah. yeah, there goes the con. Huh? Uh, like, uh, a lot of the members own guns. Really nice. The nice security team is very fuck cool. Um, you'll meet two twins. Actually, not twins. They're sisters. They look very alike. Two twins, so quadruplets. Mm-hmm. Or two no, sets of twins. Two sisters. Then Why did you say you're meeting twins? Whatever. Yeah, that's, that's making Two twins. twins. Whatever. Right. Whatever. Um, they're the ones that Flick was after. And Aww. that didn't work out for him. <laughs> so, okay. We worked with her mom. Her mom, was in, Susan. her mom was in security. Oh. They were in security. Oh. Do you see how bad this can turn? And one was 17. Flick, why? Because he's flick. And then, yeah, it's just... Well, and then they after, found this, uh, like, quote-unquote, hot uh, Puerto Rican guy to dance with instead. Yeah. Well, at least it's not as bad as like, Little Red, I guess. They gave me free cigarettes the whole time. Who? Those, those two girls. Oh, right. Nice. They were like, hey, what's up? And I was like, hey, okay. And they are like, you're power. And I was like, yeah. And Flick was, that's why Flick was mad at me for like the longest time is because they were hitting on me and I was accepting it because I got free cigarettes because I had none. So they're like, yeah, you want a cigarette? I'm like, yeah, totally. Oh, and I sat there, I ignored know. every word they said, and just like, uh-huh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, fuck it. And then uh, she's like, oh, I got to get more cigarettes to my mom. Talk to and at that point, she was like, yeah, I'm going to go talk to my mom. And I was like, sneak, 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 Switch. goodbye. Took off, saw like four hours later, she you want a cigarette? I'm like, oh, life is good. Because me and Flipper broke. And then his, uh, his aunt came by and gave us a little cash, got some food, got a hotel room. Dude, it was, it was nice. <laughs> but yeah. No, it was, it was a fun time. I would bet, yeah. All conventions are usually fun time. I've no. yet gone to one, so. Conventions can turn fun to, to bad. One? Like when uh, two kids decide to. Uh, no, when two kids decide to start fucking around with drugs in the middle of a rave. One collapses, one falls over, and then the other, no, no, one fell over, she twisted her knee, like, this was I remember that. And then the other yeah. guy was standing there, like, stone cold, like, fucking shaking, stiff as a board, 
and I'm standing with me and uh, her friend, which I actually worked security at Tucson with her the year before, and um, we're, I'm trying to talk to him, he's non-responsive, just standing there in like fucking shock. Eventually, he like this literally fucking beat is so amazing. He stiffened completely up and was falling. So I grab her. John comes over, picks him up with me. We carry him over into the ring. <laughs> John, like that uh, John's like, <laughs> looks at me, he's like, don't let anyone in. So I shut the doors. The band Toy Box, I've known for the past few years. Uh, Yohei and all them, and Nato and all them, and Cecilia. Um, Nato comes over and says, hey, we're with the band, and we need to get our stuff out of the room. I was like, can't, no one's allowed in. And uh, so he's like, but, you know, you know who I am, right? I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah. I was like, I've met you a few times. You know, we both have helped you with equipment. He's like, yeah. He's like, well, can you let me in? I was like, no. Then these two assholes, they were working security with us beforehand. They were doing the whole, like, 12-hour 12, 12 shit, and then they were done for the rest of the con. They were, uh, this guy was like, oh, what? Sucks. Now we can't fucking rave because we had everyone on the little terrace. He's like, yeah, fucking assholes. And being a dick. One woman's going off on a stretcher. The other one's freaking the fuck out, like, on the ground having a seizure. And the guy's like, yeah, we can't rave now. And I'm like, dude, you're a fucking douche. Get out of here. <laughs> or how guys will say it. That's their fault. <laughs> well, yeah, it is their fault, you know. And then uh, there's, like, you know, people that are trying to peddle drugs out of there. I'm like, you're in the fucking dorm Didn't area. Didn't you say it was, like, in the pocky or something? Yeah, they had it in the fucking pocky. <sighs> so, I wonder how they did that. Um, they crushed it up and uh, put it at the bottom of it, and you dip your pocky into it. Oh. Yeah. Pretty ingenious. Pretty fucking stupid. Pocky's tasty. Dumb as fuck, but pretty Yeah, stupid. no shit, dude. Middle of a rave. The rave started for five seconds. And then... You hear uh, that kid, and her, the black kid, and uh, the girl come running to me. We need security. My uh, my friend fell, and so I called in Code Mary on the uh, the pass hall security. Code Mary, look in there, and she's laying there. All these people are just standing around her. So we have our uh, our uh, lady. I can't oh my God, she's having a seizure! Quickly, just stand around her and watch. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but uh, we went in there. We had everything. What can you really do for a kid or somebody else with a seizure? Just go find them. help like some responsible asshole. Not just kid. stand there staring. Oh my God, she's swallowing her tongue. Oh, dude, it was it was a pain. It was a pain. Well, obviously someone was on it, so. Yeah, the security team. Oh, well, fuckers. <laughs> I wanted a seizure. I hope someone would call help. Yeah, the security team is always good. I remember one time we had to stop a fight between uh, two uh, panelists. Uh, panelists <laughs> is people that are yeah, yeah. their little booths and all that. Yeah. Um, one guy, total asshole. He's the same guy that pissed me flick off because uh, he was like, hey, uh, yeah, you're security. Oh, wait, you're just volunteer. Well, bitch, our security passes didn't come in. They didn't make – even John, our head security, had a volunteer pass on, which he doesn't really wear passes anyways. He doesn't care. Um, but uh, so we had – our all our said volunteer, even staffing, everyone. And uh, he's like, oh, yeah, uh, oh, wait, you're just volunteer tip sheet? And it's like, shit. Then he's like, yeah. And he starts, we're, uh, me and Flicker outside having a coffee and a smoke. And we're just kicking back, relaxing, you know, on our five-minute break. And uh, he's out there being a fucking arrogant punk. But, like, yeah, I got all this. And I was just like, fuck off, dude. Well, him and some other panelists got in an argument. Well, the panelists that he got in an argument with had friends. <laughs> <laughs> so we get a call about a fight. We're, we're closing up trouble. Like, who's fighting? So we're like in 400 aisle. Well, I was like, fuck, I'm in 600. I'm right now. We go over there. He's getting yelled at by a lot of people. And it's about to be a big fight. We go in there. We stop him. Like, whoa, man, yeah, you know, calm down. We pull him over there. Like, yeah, what the fuck happened? I guess uh, what happened was he was being an arrogant fuck, like always. And a lot of people didn't like that. He almost got his ass kicked by like four dudes. Might have been a lot of people. Yeah. So. <sighs> man, that really uh, kind of brought down the Bring down the mood. But doing security is fun. Oh, and if you have a security pass on, and you're walking around and someone's like, oh, you can't go this way, one thing you can tell them is, this is my all-access pass. <laughs> security pass means I can go anywhere. This, throw, is, this is my do what I want to do and get away with it. All right, so since we're talking about, like, uh, security so much, we might as well go to some other kind of subject. Yeah. Speaking of, like, other subjects, what the hell are you guys doing? That's oh, magnetic stuff. Do something. Talk to us. I know. It's like, okay, I, I, I'm not, I, I, all right. You got, like, on this huge fucking rant last time about how, how everyone's interrupting everybody, so. We're I, not so interrupting I, anybody. Exactly. I was letting Pat finish. But you guys are playing with metal balls. Well, I'm sorry, but you guys are talking about, you know, doing work at these conventions, and I Which haven't really fun. done that. And so okay, I'm like, well, relate to something. Stuff. Talk about the. Okay, um, conventions. There you There's go. Always, you know, Yay! Happy, happy fun time, game room. Okay, you know you're out. Tournaments. Yeah. I can honestly say that. The tournaments are fun. I go for Smash Brothers and do better than pretty much all you guys. 
Okay, well, no, hey, no, because I don't the, really play Smash Bros. Because of the, I'll play against you in classics. Because of the uh, game room at the conventions, I found about Blaze Blue, which I really I knew about Blaze Blue a while. Yeah, I remember, uh, I remember oh, Tukon. I remember Tukon. Me and you. You were being Hakuman, and I was being Rock, and we never played the game before, and then all of a sudden you're just like, dude, I think, I think these two know each other, and then all of a sudden <laughs> I'm going to go, you masked bitch. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> yep, it's on now. No, that was, that was fun. That's also when I found out I was a lot better than you with, uh, like, I'm better in, uh... Street Fighter, if I'm using the arcade stick. If I'm using an arcade stick, I'm a lot better than with a fucking controller. Yeah. Using my but then again, if I was to go back in there with an arcade stick, I'd at least know how to pull off the moves on. Yeah. So, yeah, at Phoenix, uh, there was, uh, when we were eating, there was this little arcade little area. They had, uh, like, the old classic Donkey Kong. Mm-hmm. Dude. And, uh, <laughs> Miss Pac-Man. Uh, totally destroyed the high score on, uh, Miss Pac-Man. <laughs> It wasn't that hard. People were saying, like, yeah, as soon as I was done with that, I died after a while. And I'm like, everyone's, dude, you got so high on that. Dude, you're really good at this. I'm like, yeah, cool. In my head, after a while, I was like, am I really that cool for beating Miss pac <laughs> Ask yourself this. Are you really that cool for achieving a kill screen on one of those classic arcade games? I'm just that cool. Are you really that cool when you punch it when you're really mad and get really in trouble? Yeah, because you're breaking something. Oh, I'll break. You break something, everyone's just like, dude, you broke it. That's cool. You, are bleeding. I almost got the yeah, uh, you bleed and like you'll have women all over you. I almost got the new high score for uh, Donkey Kong, but yeah. like a pro. Do you guys remember yeah. Tilt in Tucson Mall? Yeah, Tilt was a game, uh, a little oh, arcade. Little arcade, yeah. It was fucking cool because it was all. And black, I'm black starting to get shit. mad at that because those places are starting to disappear all over the country. Yeah. Well, it's because you know Prior home right. gaming, home home consoles are what fucked that over. Which I love home consoles. Don't get me wrong. But I miss arcades. Because not only if you're really good at something, everyone's standing there like, whoa, dude, this kid's awesome. And then you'd have, like, an audience. You can't just up and take a game system to the mall. No, no. I mean, uh, your one friend could. Well, the Xbox laptop, nowadays, if you take that to, like, a mall or something, it's like, dude, what a nerd. It's kind of like what happened when he went to the bar. Yeah, they were making fun of him because... He's supposed to be all designated driver staff, and he's sitting there playing Saints Row, whacking people with a purple dildo. Which is totally fine. It's legit. It's I've been legit. doing that. We've all done it. I beat the game doing that. <laughs> you know that you're like a true man when you can destroy a tank with a dildo. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> all right, so let's put that in realistics. <laughs> how can um, we realistically, how could you destroy a tank with the big American challenge? Um, you shove it down the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Fire. <laughs> <laughs> Sexual education saved us from World War III. <laughs> <laughs> I salute to you, it's American Dildo. It's into slot B, which leads so to the tanks So, how was World War III prevented? Well, you see, son, America, the most lustful and sinful place on uh, this planet, decided they were going to take this thing called the Big American Challenge. And I don't know what's so big about it with us being in Africa and all. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you see, they just shoved it in a tank, which we could do nowadays, but we did the breaking the tank head, and, you know, can't have any of that. Yeah. And, you know, they were mad at us way back when because we sounded like a bunch of clicks, and now we're all sophisticated and distinguished. Distinguished. Okay, his name is... Africa, year 3000. <laughs> 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 Took a while. Took a while right. to get around. We got flying cars. <laughs> that run on vegetable oil, and they're barely developing. No, no, no. Flying cars, no, no. Flying cars that run on life force. Life force yeah. and vegetable oil, and they barely got a fucking Toyota. You see, the force is always surrounding it, so it never evolves. Yeah. <laughs> kind Take of, Mace Windu and replace him with Bill Cosby. Who <laughs> 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 instantly made Star Wars a fucking comedy. All right. Has anybody ever completed the uh, Big American Challenge? Like, actually doing it? Yeah. I'm not looking at them. Neither am I. No, dude. I'm not going to look at them. I don't want to be on the FBI's, like, fucking wanted list for looking up stupid shit. Yeah, I'm doing it on the Big American Challenge. We're going to track you now. So, Ashley, can you look this up for us? No. Why not? Do it on someone else's computer. Uh, Who's going to trace it? The FBI? (laughs) Dude, yo, dog, they're not going to find me. I'm behind, like, ten fucking proxies. Oh, oh, shit. (laughs) Routed through Asia. (laughs) Brought it through Asia, Russia, and France, first off. Fuck France. Exactly. No, they're going to they're, they're 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 find France on that list and be like, like, oh, okay, oh, okay. now yeah, yeah. understand. Yeah, that's all I'm going to The French. I'm going to name my router. How many people do you think we've pissed off in just this podcast alone? This just, podcast? Just with all this racially offensive shit? Oh, fine. Well, well, why do we not care? Enough. Fuck the internet. Fuck you, Europe. Fuck you, British. Fuck you, Americans. 
Fuck you, Africa. You are American. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> we just got uh, four new hits. Fuck you, Australia. Oh, shit. Fuck you, Australia, Asia, Asia, Japan, Bernie China. No, no, no. I, I like... Bernie Sock. Uh, <laughs> no, I like, I, like, I like that. Just think of it this way. Someday, you're going to be like 23. You're just going to be knocking at the door. You're going to open your front door. There's going to be a fucking kangaroo. Go. Kick if it's a kangaroo, I'm going to fucking shoot it. Okay, wait, how many years is this down the road? Yeah, you, 23, so. Okay, so I'll have my 38 on my hip. <laughs> okay, kangaroo to the door. Bam. Who wants kangaroo? The thing is, well, wait, you'd, wait, be, wait. you'd be a sensible person and look out that little people thing and go, yeah. dude, it's a fucking kangaroo. I'm like, I'm cold. Where did they come from? The first one's a kangaroo. <laughs> I swear to God, there's a kangaroo on my fucking porch. First of all, I'm going to grab a camera and buy it. Okay, <laughs> right, record this, this is record how you this. take it down. Record this. I'll send, those, I'll send this to those Australian people that are, like, overly pissed off. No, no. This you is know. what happens when you try to declare war on me. I'll shoot a kangaroo and send you its head in a box. Did you know that uh, uh, in Australia you from. actually eat kangaroo as a delicacy? It's good luck. Either way. I'd like, take this, Australia. I'd fucking eat it. I don't think they really care. Is it really that cool? No, it's just a delicacy. What about koala? Um, I think that's the difference. That's, that's Look, do you really want to eat koala when the infants eat their own mother's poo? How mad do you think PETA would be if you came out with a game called Zoo Killer, where you kind of just go around and you're poaching animals at a zoo? New idea. Survival. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like hobo scenes where they have, like, hobo stabber and my pal Jody. <laughs> Just you know that like, you know that that's Perfect. probably gonna be misconstrued by some kid out there, and they're gonna be like, "Dad, give me a hunting rifle so I can go to the zoo and kill cinnamon." All right. No. <laughs> okay, that reminds me of uh, speaking of, like uh, asking your father about something. Uh, one of my friends, uh, pretty much there was a dog that was like shitting on it in their like front yard and everything. Uh, I think it was either like uh, Raymond's father, I think. You remember Raymond? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Of course you don't like him, but. One of the funniest stories I heard from his father and everything was like, uh, he goes up to his dad and he goes, uh, hey, uh, there's a dog uh, crapping uh, on our uh, on our lawn. He looks out the window, sits back down, kill it. Yeah. <laughs> fucking shoot it. You're <laughs> kill it. Take his teeth. Make a nice one. What drink do I want? There's only one left. White Rush. Fucking White Rush. Do you remember that from? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> I have not seen the uh, new animated adventure. Oh, the Left 4 Track. It's pretty funny. It looks like there's something with Left Star Trek. Left 4 Track just kind of yeah. sounds like Left 4 Dead on the like fucking Starship Enterprise. It's oh, I'm and guessing that's uh, here's your landing no, party. They're talking about oh no 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 no, no, no. <laughs> they're laughing about it because uh, Bernie. They're like yeah. The moment Bernie gets pounced by a hunter and your fucking head that screams at you, and he's like yeah. Zombie apocalypse. It's best key if I survive. <laughs> okay, I got a question. I got a question for all of you. Have you guys ever seen a, uh, a zombie-based video game that does not have zombie or dead in it? Resident Evil. <laughs> Holy crap! How did they not guess that? They, uh, I think it was Michael. Someone posted from their site. So they're, they're after, right, the day after that podcast, someone they actually posted on the site. Yeah, I was not thinking that. That's, they actually that was posted good. on the site. Resident Evil bitches. And Resident Evil sucks. Oh. Um, but that's just, yeah. Well, no, at first it started out pretty no, good. Now it's just getting, yeah, now it's just getting ridiculous. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what's it called? The movies. Uh, God damn. Yeah. Yeah, it became just mutants, not fucking zombies. Tots. Well, um, yeah. I mean, the first game was like, oh, God. How the hell do you do anything? Hold eight buttons to aim. So a zombie scene I wasn't just playing, but I was just playing how scary it was. in the title? Yeah. How, uh, how old were well, you when you were playing it? Left yeah. for Dead. Yeah, there's dead there's pickles. pickles. Yeah, and there's a the game was they said dead it. space because it's like you know, in a way. Castle Miner Z. Yeah. What? Castle Miner Z. It does not have zombie or dead in the name. Wait, no, but that's not game. a zombie game. That's a game with. It's essentially games. like Minecraft, but you're trying to build up weapons for the zombie apocalypse. No, there's also werewolves and shit like that, and it's skeletons. Really? Yeah, I, I watched the video on YouTube, dude. I will. They talked about it. Some oh, I, Well, I guess speaking with that with zombies, Dark Souls does have zombies in it. It's not a zombie game. All right, so I guess uh, yeah, they don't call it. Oh yeah, the zombie game that. All right, so it has to have it has to be like a zombie game, oh, not just like. Yeah. Yeah, but dead. It's dead. No, I'm, no, I'm just saying it's another zombie game with dead in it. Very good game too. Now they need to make zombie. So uh, speaking of that, if with music, does that mean that Resident Evil is not a zombie game anymore? No, it's a zombie the game. The first one was. Well, okay, remember what the original name for that was? Biohazard. Yeah. 
which we never sold too well. No. Um, it's still called Biohazard in Japan. Yeah. yeah. But uh. Oops. <laughs> but uh, no, it's it's Resident Evil, but it's you know it's it's just fucking stupid. Where are you putting that out? Out. What do you mean? I'm just putting it in there. Good. No, I'm just gonna drop it on your fucking floor. Or for me. Next thing you're gonna be spitting on my floor, pissing on my floor, shitting on my floor. Thanks. I didn't do that at all. He can go in the corner. You just not gonna let it drop wherever it goes. Mm-hmm. Like an animal in the zoo. Wait, you say corner? <laughs> Take a deuce on my corner. <laughs> I will shit in your acoustic guitar. <laughs> you, know I don't know. you would never know either. I would well, never. Like, dude, it smells like shit. In here. Where is it? You're like, damn, is that white? You wait, where no, you sit there. You get chloroform. You would knock him out with that, unstring it enough to where you can get it in there without there being any sign of a struggle trying to push shit into this thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then he would restring it. Uh. And then he would wake up and be like, what the fuck smells? <laughs> like, oh, they shit yourself, dude. <laughs> yeah. I think you'd be in. Oh, man. What other subjects are there out there right now? Not much, dude. We're running at 50 minutes, so. Mm-hmm. I, we're going to have to call it at that. We're going to have to? I'm going to call it at that. All right. I still got to fucking finish the other one. You still have to finish the other one? Um, that's why I bought my German version of uh, Acid Breaking Down. Huh? Tony Acid Pro, the Pro. program I've been using for years. Oh, okay. Oh, um, wait, so are you just cutting parts out, or? No, well, no, I'm editing it, because when you listen to it, it's, real qu- it's a lot quieter than you want it to be. And then there was also, like, with his fucking Well, if you're trying to make it louder, you can just use Audacity. I know, I don't have Audacity right now. It's free, you can find it. Well, fucking A. Man. Okay, man, we're going to be probably or, getting this eventually. Or you can go to Google and just go, like, free audio editing software. Yeah, I don't need to be in trouble. No, no, if it's, like, torrent for, like, a licensed thing, then yeah. But if it's, like, completely free and they have their own site and they're like, yeah, it's free, fucking use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I love Asset Pro. All right, okay, let's, uh, all right, we're going to cut this off now with, uh, just, we're kind of left without a subject, so see you guys later. We'll be more prepared next week. Hopefully. Peace and stuff.